the second chapter. Acts chapter 2. Starting at the first verse. Depuis le verset premier. And the Bible says this. La Bible dit comme ça. When the day of Pentecost, le jour de la Pentecôte, was fully come, ils étaient tous ensemble. They were all with one accord. Ils étaient tous ensemble. And in one place. Dans le même lieu. You missed it. They were all with one accord. Ils étaient tous ensemble. In Miami and in one place. Dans, dans le même lieu. I will break this down after I finish reading. And suddenly, Et soudainement, <laughs> suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house Et where they stood. Toute la maison où ils étaient assis. I don't hear anybody. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared cloven tongues of fire. Hallelujah. As, as fire. And it sat on every one of them. And they were all filled. They were all filled. With the Holy Ghost. And they all spake in other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Selon que l'Esprit leur donnait de s'exprimer. I got news for you. There is, a, there is a suddenly about to happen. Bon, soudain, bon, pour passer là, soyez. I'm, I'm telling you now. I'm prophesying to you now. There is a suddenly about to happen. Bon, soudain, bon, and you will là. testify about how God did what he did suddenly. You will see a move of God personally in your personal life. And it will happen suddenly because of your faith in God and your trust in his word. When they were all gathered together in the upper room, they were gathered together based on what Jesus told them. Jesus told them Jesus to go and tarry and wait. Jesus Christ dit, "Al, retends-moi dans la chambre." Tarry and wait. Retends-moi. To be endued with power from on high. Jusqu'à ce qu'on rampe de la puissance d'en haut. And they went into the upper room. Et puis aller dans la chambre. And Jesus said, "You shall receive power." Et Jésus Christ dit, "Vous recevez une puissance." Power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Après le Saint Esprit a descendu sur vous-même. Anybody here? Est-ce que mon last one? Acts one and eight says, "And you shall receive power." Et vous recevrez une puissance. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Et le Saint Esprit survenant sur vous. Not power just to be able to lay hands and people c'est, convulse. C'est pas puissance pour juste mettre les mains sur monde pour le tomber à terre. It's not magical power. C'est pas puissance magique. It is the power to be his witness. Mais son puissance pour venir témoigner l'Éternel. It is the power to open up your mouth and talk to people about the love of God. Pour capable ouvrir bouche et parler de l'amour de Jésus. It is the power of evangelism. C'est la puissance d'évangélisme. That will cause people's lives to be changed. Ca fait mon la vie mon changer. We put too much emphasis on music. Nous mettez trop en face dans musique sur musique. Put too much emphasis on personality. Nous mettez trop en face sur personnalité. We need the power to speak to people about Jesus. Nous besoin la puissance pour nous parler des hommes de Jésus Christ. We need the power to open up our mouth. Nous besoin la puissance pour nous ouvrir bouche nous. And to talk to them about the goodness of God. Pour nous parler comment bon Dieu bon. The greatness of Jesus. La grandeur de Jésus Christ. The love of salvation. L'amour du salut. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, wait in the upper room. Il dit restez dans la chambre haute. Until you are endued with power. Jusqu'à ce qu'on revêtue de la puissance. And you shall receive power to be my witnesses. Et vous recevrez une puissance et vous serez mes témoins. In Jerusalem. À Jerusalem. In Judea. À la Judée. In Samaria, Samari, and in the uttermost parts of the world, de la terre. he said, "I'm going to give you the power pas bon puissance to witness to the utmost parts of the world." Jusqu'à de la terre. This is before the day of Pentecost was finished. Le jour, avant le jour de la this is before the feast of Pentecost ended. Avant fait, la fini. They were set in one place, being prepared. Seule place à préparer, yo. To have the power. To reach the world. I said the power to reach the world. And 
And as everyone gathered from all around the world into Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost and on the 50th day when the feast ended when it was fully come fully executed there came a sound from heaven. But only 120 people heard it. 120 people were in the upper room waiting because they knew that the promise of God was coming. I don't hear anybody. You have got to be convinced that the promise of God is going to come into your life. And they were in one room waiting on the promise. They all had the same mind. They were all there for the same reason. There was no division. There was no schism. There was nothing that separated them. They were with one accord in the same place. The day that the church finally becomes united, we will shake the globe. The day that the church becomes united, we will change the world. I travel the world constantly. And everywhere I go, I try to pick up the language. I try to pick up the language. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I go to I go to Japan. And I gotta pick up the language. Let's see if you can do that. Let's see if you can do that. Let me say, say it again. Tanika Wayona. Tanika Wayona. I got that last part. I got that last part. Yeah. Security. You, you, you have to pick up. You have to pick up the language. You're supposed to language. When you go to the Hispanic countries, you've got to sing. Con mi vete al cansate, con mi fete tocate. No, Ali, no. Mi milagro no, es no, 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 no. y sé que transformado yo seré. You've got to become all things to all men because there must be a unifying of the people. C'est pour faire avec tout le monde parce qu'il faut nous unir ensemble. When you go to the Ukraine, you've got to sing. Nash, bog, say, ma bushi, bog, bog, no, Ali, say. Ukraine. And you got to do it in Russian, you got to do it in the Ukrainian language. You've got to become all things to all men. And when you go to Haiti, you got to sing. You have got to become all things to all men so that you can save some. And what happened in the upper room was the culmination of what Jesus spoke about. He said, you shall receive power to be my witnesses. Not only at home in Jerusalem, not only in your community in Judea, not only in strange places like Samaria, not only in strange places like but even to the utmost parts of the world. Why would Jesus say that? Because he knew that there was about to be a convening of people from other countries that were going to be in Jerusalem from around the world. And so he timed it perfectly. And he sent the Holy Ghost. And they were filled. And they spake with other tongues. And they spake with other tongues. Now there are two types of tongues. There are other tongues. And there are unknown tongues. And there are unknown tongues. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to get through. There are other tongues. Given by the Holy Ghost. 
And they are unknown tongues given by the Holy Ghost. The other tongues ah. are tongues that, that are a part of our human languages. So, in other words, it's what makes part of our human language. And the Holy Ghost gave 120 people the gift to speak in languages that they had never learned. Cet esprit by 120 monde ils ont donc pu parler l'autre langue que pas jamais apprendre. But they were the languages of the people that were in the marketplace. Mais c'était langue monde qui était dans marché qui était là qui était là. The Holy Ghost will give you to speak the language of the people. Cet esprit a et donc capable parler langage monde yo. In the balcony? Balcony. The Holy Ghost will give you to speak the language of the people. De cet esprit à parole et de vous faut parler langage peuple là. Yes God. And, 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 and unknown tongues are different. That's what you use in worship. Langue inconnue des différences ça vous utilisez dans l'adoration. You use when you talk to God. C'est ça aussi de la parole bon Dieu. First Corinthians the 14th chapter. Je connais 14. It says that when you speak in unknown tongues. Il dit doit parler en langue inconnue. There's no language on this earth that can define it. Pas de langue dans ce monde. It's a heavenly language. Son langue uh, célestiale. Though I speak with tongues of men and angels. Il dit parler des langues des hommes et des anges. But the Holy Ghost gives you the power to speak the language of the people. Gives you the power to speak to people where they are. Gives you the power to use the language that they can relate to. I'm speaking about evangelism. The Holy Ghost gives you the power to talk to people about the things that they're going through. The Holy Ghost gives you the power and the authority to use your past to reach the people in their presence. I'm trying to tell you, I teach the people in our church but the Holy Ghost gives you the power to use your testimony to speak the language of the people. I talked to the, those that were ex-drug addicts. I said the Holy Ghost gives you the power to talk to other drug addicts and relate to them, telling them I know what it feels like. I know what it looks like. I was there too. But God gives you the power to talk to other drug addicts See, nobody wants to talk about their past. But, but, your, but your past has power. But your past has power. Your testimony has power. Your Your testimony has power. Your testimony has power. Your testimony has power. Your testimony has power. Your testimony has John wrote down, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Jean, Jean, left, and and by the words of their testimony. You can't be ashamed of your testimony. Look at somebody next to you and say, I'm not ashamed. You can't be ashamed of what God brought you out of. You can't be ashamed of what God delivered you from. God Almighty. Yes, God. The Holy Ghost gives you the power to speak the language of the people. To be able to relate to people. To be able to relate to people. Remember that after they went down into the marketplace, they got filled with the Holy Ghost. And when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost led them down into the marketplace where all the people from around the world were gathered. And those men, those 120 men, began to speak in the languages of the people. Uh, And the people were astonished. Saying, aren't these Galileans? How is it that they, we hear them speaking in our language? Aren't these unlearned men? How do they know my language? See, the bottom line is you don't have to have a degree. You have to have the Holy Ghost. I don't hear anybody. You don't have to have a collar. You don't have to have a chain. You don't have to have a certificate. You have to have the Holy Ghost. Because if I was really to be real, and if I was really wanting to get in trouble, I would say most of the people that got a collar aren't using it. Most of the people that have certificates aren't using it. Most of the people that have a title aren't using it. The church has become an entity that is position driven. We want the position. 
But we don't do the job. Mais nous pas fait travail là. I'm going to get on somebody's nerves ah, with all this. Ah, parce là. We want, we want, we want the title. Nous voulons titre là. But we don't want the responsibility. Mais nous pas les responsabilités là. We want to be called evangelists. Nous voulons nous évangélistes. Hey, sure, Ramad. We want to be called evangelists. And we think that that title evangelist gives us the gives us the position in the pulpit. An evangelist has no business behind the pulpit. Yo evangelist pas arrêté sur pulpit là. For those of you that are evangelists. Nous qui là évangélistes là. Have no business behind the pulpit. The pulpit, the pulpit is not for the evangelist. The pulpit is for the pastor. Now you want to know where your platform is? Out on the street corner. Now you want to know where your platform is? Out on the street corner. 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 You're supposed to be talking to the drug addicts. Evangelist. Evangelist. You're supposed to be in the hedges and the highways. You're supposed to be on the other side. I didn't think I'd get too much response with that. I'm not going to give you a response. Amen. Amen. We're out of order. No, 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 We do things just for the sake of licenses. Nous faisons pareil juste parce que nous avons des credentials. But you're a missionary. What is your mission? Nous sommes missionnaires. Quelle mission? You're supposed to be out in the hospitals. Nous sommes dans l'hôpital. You're supposed to be helping those in need. Nous sommes aidés mon qui n'a besoin. You're supposed to be feeding the hungry. Nous sommes supposed to nourrir mon qui n'a besoin. You're supposed to be clothing the naked. Nous sommes supposed to habiller mon qui est tout nu. We are out of order. Nous n'avons pas d'ordre. Ah shit, calm down. I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. Nous sommes prophètes. Nous sommes prophètes. Well, the prophet has no business behind the pulpit. Prophète là pas dans ce basse chair là. Prophets. Prophète. For any prophet in the room, any prophet. Tout prophète qui l'a capté, a regardé. Prophet has no business behind the pulpit. Là, sous ce basse chair là, prophète. The prophet is called to speak to kings. Prophète supposé appeler pour parler à des rois. The prophet is called to speak to leaders. Supposé parler avec leaders yo. And the prophet doesn't receive any money. Prophet pas recevoir l'argent non plus. Oh, the prophet doesn't receive any money. Prophet pas recevoir l'argent non plus. If you look at the prophet, so regard the prophet you. If you look at Elisha, so regard the Elise. When Naaman came and wanted to be healed from his leprosy, leprosy, he brought gold. He brought the law. He brought clothing. He brought the vestments. And he wanted to offer it to the prophet. But the prophet said, "I'm not here for the general." I'm not here for the general. 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 And he never came out of his room. And Gehazi ran in and said, "He's got gold. Keep your gold. He wants to be healed. I'm not here for him. Tell him if he wants to be healed. Go to the Jordan. The filthy, nasty Jordan. And dip down seven times." But the prophet never came out of the room. Prophet, la pas jamais sorti dans chambre. And the prophet never received the gifts. Il n'a jamais reçu un cadeau non plus. Because you can't buy my prophecy. Parce qu'on peut pas acheter prophétie. The reason why I'm so vehement. La raison que fait pour ça. Is because I'm tired of this game. Parce que je me fatigue avec jouer de ça. I'm tired of these prophets for P R O F I T. Moi, 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 me fatigue avec faux prophètes ça. I'm tired of these prophets that have their hand in your pockets. Je sais pas besoin d'argent. Regarde l'argent à poche. Prophet lying, lying to you. Y a pas menti, y a pas pile menti. And we seem like we are so gullible. Et puis nous vîmes très vulnérables. Because somebody tells us what our address is. Parce qu'on m'ont dit nous qui ça adresse nous y. I know my address. Où est l'adresse moi? I just came from my address. Je sortis la carte mon adresse moi. I don't need you to tell me my address. Pas besoin de vous dire mon adresse moi. I need you to tell me the say of the Lord. C'est pour dire et c'est pas l'Éternel. I'm trying. Abaissez. 
and we are out of order. And because we have made such a such a game of this thing. We have made such a game out of religion. We've made such a game out of church. There is a breach. The first Chronicles, the 15th chapter, about the 13th verse, it says, because you have done this out of order, there's a breach between you and God. There's a breach. Because you did it, you kept going on in your service, but you didn't do it based on the on the good order, the true order. We are having church and failing to be the church. We are having church and failing to be the church. And we're going on and going through the, the, the motions. And we don't even realize that God's not moving. We don't even realize people are still dying with sicknesses. We are not realizing that there are no miracles. We got great personalities. But we don't have the miracles. We have got some very strong essence people. But, but we don't have the miracles. You know my name. But we don't have the miracles. Oh, because God is not obligated to move on personalities. God has a divine plan. A divine plan. And once we get the house in order, once we get the house in order, we will see a move of God. In First Chronicles, the 15th chapter, how much time do I have, Lord? I'm trying to come down. Okay. In First Chronicles, the 15th chapter, chapter 15, when David became the king, Le David vini wa, the first thing he did fait, was said, I will not rule without the presence of God. I will not build my empire and my kingdom I need the presence of God. I need the presence of God. And so he sent down to Obed Edom. And he got the Ark of the Covenant. Because it represented the presence of God. Pastors, we can't do this without the presence of God. We can't build the church on our own shoulders. We need the unadulterated power of God. And he sent down to Obed-Edom. And, and he sent them to get, he sent the priests to get the ark. But now the problem is, because everything was out of order parce under que, Saul. Saul. The priests Prétio broke protocol. Yo brisé protocol yo. Sometimes the, God, the Lord won't move bon Dieu pas agir. because the preachers are out of place. Parce que yo because the preachers aren't doing it the way God said. Am I making any sense? Est-ce and the priests went to Obed Edom's house. But they brought a cart. But what's wrong with that? There were some specific orders on how to carry the ark. The priests had to be clean. The priests had to be righteous. And the priest had to put it on their shoulders and bear the weight. Bear the weight of this anointing. There was no easy way for the priest. They had to put it on their shoulders. This, this ark covered with gold heavy and they had to put it on their shoulders. And they had to walk in cadence. They had to walk in step. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But these priests decided to go the easy route. And they brought a cart. 
And they picked the cart up. But they put the, pick the ark up. And they put it on the cart. And they put it on the cart. So that they could easily take it back into Jerusalem. But the cart lurched. Hallelujah. And when the cart lurched, the ark started to slide off. And then Usa, Hallelujah. the priest Usa, decided that he was going to help God. And the Bible said that they couldn't touch the ark. La Bible dit, bon, il va they had to bear it on the rods upon their shoulders. But they couldn't put their hand to the ark. Mais, mais pas de and Usa, Et puis Usa, trying to stop the ark from falling, grabbed the ark la, 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 and died. You cannot put your carnal hand to the holy thing. Hear what I'm saying? You cannot put your unclean hand to that which God has sanctified. We've got to do this God's way. And he died. They buried him and they put the ark on their shoulders and they carried it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It just took one man dying for them to come back to their senses. And they carried the ark back. And when David Et puis le David sees the ark coming back into Jerusalem David jumps over his balcony. David vole son balcon. And he runs to meet the ark. Il court pour la rencontrer là. And when it comes through the gate, David starts dancing. Et puis il commence à danser à la porte. Pastors need to learn how to dance. Pastors are supposed to apprendre comment vous danser. In the presence of God, they, he started dancing. Dans la présence de Dieu, commence à danser. Dance so much that he took his coat off. La danse, il retire les vêtements sous lui. Dance so much that his toga fell off. Et puis il retire les vêtements. And he's dancing. And celebrating because he has decided that he cannot rule without the presence of God. Uh, God. Uh, God help me. That's the first thing. He brought the presence of God back into Jerusalem. The ark represented the presence of God. The second thing that he did was he tore down everything Saul put up. Tore down everything that Saul put up. Took people out of position. Put the right people in position. Because the people in position had to be holy and skillful. We have settled for, for, for skillful without holiness. I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. But I'm leave. We have settled for skillfulness without a requirement of holiness. You don't have to be holy to play. Just come make my service good. But you don't understand that musicians got to have the same anointing as the pastor. I don't hear anybody. The mantle of the pastor has got to be on the singers. The mantle of the pastor has got to be on everybody who works along with them. They got to have the same consecration as their leader. We're out of order. Well, if you don't pay me, I'm leaving. Go! We don't need hired hands. We need people with the Holy Ghost. I know I'm getting in trouble. If I ain't going to never come back, I might as well finish. Amen. 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 So, so David tore down everything Saul had put up. David And he put people in that were anointed and skillful. Oh, Anointed and skillful. 
And when he set everybody in place, and he took everybody out of place, that were in the wrong place, God moved. Sometimes you gotta prune that tree. Sometimes you gotta cut some things off. Because it may look good, but it's not good. And you got to be bold enough if you want the spirit of the Lord to move. You got to be bold enough to move people that are hindering the spirit of the Lord. We're not here to make friends. We're here to make sure you grow. We're not here to make friends. We're here to make sure you get your miracle. We're not here to make friends. We're here to make sure you get your touch. I got to, I got, we got to preach you into your promise. Things are out of order. But I got news for you. There is a shift that's happening. And I can see it here in Miami. There is a shift of, 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 of holiness that's not looking for prestige but looking for the move of God. There's a shift that's not looking for celebrity but are looking to serve the people. There's a shift that wants to make sure that you get the promise that God has made to you and put everything in its proper place so that there can be a suddenly I was in the back. In the back, lad, there. And I was watching. Dabgade. Watching the praise and worship. Dabgade, louange avec adoration. I was watching the praise and worship. Dabgade, louange adoration. I was watching the unity in this house. Dabgade, unité qui dans mes hommes. I'm sitting in front of the television. Je suis là devant la télévision. Why in awe? Because you don't see this everywhere. Moi, choqué parce que pas ouais ça tout court au passé. No, 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 no. Hear me, hear me. Tade, tade, please hear me. Tade. Me and Pastor Greg, we travel around the world. Moi avec Pastor Greg, nous partis, nous à travers le monde. You don't see this everywhere. Ou pas ouais ça tout court au. No, 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 no. Tade, tade, tade. Écoutez, écoutez, écoutez. You don't see this everywhere. Ou pas ouais ça tout court au passé. The churches are not growing. L'église n'est pas grandi. And the miracles are not showing. People are dying in the sanctuary. And there is no power to raise them. The, 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 the miracles are sparse. And it's not because God has stopped. It's because we failed. No, 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 no. Hear me. It's not because God has stopped. It's because we haven't done what we're supposed to do. I want you to remember, remember? In Joshua, the seventh chapter. Anybody remember? They had just finished Jericho. Jericho had fallen. Jericho tombé devant you. And then God sent them to a small town. Called Ai. Ai. And it was so small that they only sent about 3,500 soldiers in. And they lost the battle. And 35 men died. And Joshua goes back to God and says, God, you made me a promise. You promised that we wouldn't lose one man in battle. God had to turn around and say, don't come to me. Because I didn't break the rule. You broke the rule. I said you would never lose one man in battle if you obeyed the word. If you obeyed. Now I'm telling somebody in your camp. One man in your camp. Did not obey. Not man in your camp. Not man in your camp. Did not obey. And he took that was sanct- was sanctified for the treasury of the Lord. He took gold. He took clothing. And he buried it in a tomb. He buried it under his tent. And he He took clothing. He buried it And he buried it under his tent. And I'm not going to tell you who he is. 
And until you get that evil thing out of the tent, until you get that evil thing out of the camp, I will no longer be with you. Joshua, the seventh chapter. I will no longer be with you because I didn't break my promise. You didn't keep my word. And that's how it is nowadays. We're not seeing the miracles. Not because God broke his promise. But because we've changed this whole thing. We've changed this whole thing. We've made church more secular than sacred. And God says, until you change that. Preachers that don't preach about sin. Preachers that don't preach about unholiness. Preachers that don't call people to righteousness. Preachers that don't correct those things that are wrong. And we're just happy keeping up with the, keeping the appearance. We're just content for no kembe appearance. We're happy keeping the appearance. No kembe appearance là. But when I was growing up, me lem tap grandi. There were miracles. Yeah, miracle. When I was growing up, me lem tap grandi. There were signs and wonders. Tu gade si des prodiges. There were people being raised from the dead. Yamo kete levé, kete kete mo wi ki levé. Don't not hear me. Nous attendem. I've seen it with my own eyes. Me te wela de pobs yem. When everyone agrees and everyone's with one accord, I've seen it happen with my own eyes. It was no more than 15 years ago. In Detroit, Detroit, where my brother in the Lord Ronald Winans, my friend Winans, had a massive heart problem. 80% of his heart wasn't working. 80%. Was not working. Pas travail. And they said that they couldn't operate because he would die. Yo, oh, God, my savior. Mon Dieu, mon and the Lord said, "Let him operate." Bon Dieu dit, Quittez, fait opération. They operated on him. Yo, and Mother Winans did something very, very unique. La Winans, for Baraka, était très unique. She wouldn't let anybody come up to the hospital <laughs> that, that didn't là. believe he was going to live. <laughs> You could, you could have been family, it didn't matter. But if you didn't have total confidence that this was not going to end in death, you could not come up. Sometimes you got to separate. Am I talking to anybody here? Am I talking to anybody here? I, and I love you, but I, I, but I can't be with you right now because we're not on the same page. We can't walk together because we're not agreeing. I need somebody who's got the faith and that's one accord. They operated on him. And he died on the table. operation. He had his heart outside of his body. On a separate apparatus. No, on the top. Had his blood funneling through a machine. And they could not repair the heart. They left the heart on the apparatus. And they left his, his chest open. And the surgeon, the three surgeons. And the anesthesiologists came into the chapel where there were about 30 of us and they said we lost him we lost him on the table but there was one accord in the room There was one accord in the room. 
The anesthesiologist fell to his knees. Monsieur est tombé sous genoux. He was a friend of the family. C'était un ami familial. He said, "Yo, Ronald's gone. Ronald's gone." Il dit, "Monsieur mourir, il mourir, va nous mourir." Papa Wine. Et puis Papa Wine stood up. Il capé. He said, "He's not there." Il dit, "Pas mort." He's not dead. Il va mourir. The doctor said, "We understand your grief." Il nous comprend tristesse ou. But he's gone. Mais Monsieur mourir. He said he's not dead. Il pas mort. Go back in. Il dit allez retourner back dedans. Now this is about 20 minutes they're in there talking to us. Ça fait 20 minutes il parle avec nous. While Ronald is laying on the table. Pendant que Monsieur le monte sur table à mourir. He's not partially dead. Il pas mort partiellement. He's not near dead. Il pas presque mort. He's gone. Monsieur mourir totalement. And Pop Wine and pulled a little vial of oil out. Pop Wine a retiré aussi l'huile. Fonctionne à merveille. Cause it still works. Parce qu'elle still travaille. <laughs> Listen, it's not archaic, it's not outdated. That oil, that anointed oil. L'huile ça still travaille, il va pas perdre. It still works. Il still travaille toujours. And Pop Wine said, "Do you mind if we pray for you?" Il dit, "Est-ce qu'on pourrait se nous prier pour même?" And they said, "We're going to go back in for exploratory reasons." Ils nous parlent dedans pour nous capter. But he's gone. Même se mourir. And Pop Wine and grease his hands down. Il mettait l'huile dans elle. And everybody in the room laid hands. Et puis tout le monde mettait main sur and sent the doctors back in. So met mes docteurs et puis fait retourner back under. I think somebody's at the punchline before I got there. Comme on crie à la femme qui fait là. And we sat there and they went up and waited in the upper room. You 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 in the chambre là. In the upper room on the fourth floor. Dans chambre dans la quatrième floor. Everybody went up to the upper room. Tout le monde monte dans la chambre là. Except for myself and Pastor Wine. Except moi même avec Pastor Wine. And CC. Avec CC. And CC was on the floor breathing like she was in Lamar's class. And she was Did you hear him? Did you hear God? He said no death, no death, no death, no death. No death. She kept saying no death, no death, no death, no death. 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 Pastor Winans hollered one good time. Pastor Winans jumped back. He said because the Lord told him look beyond the report. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, "Look beyond the report." Regardez voisins, regardez au-delà rapport au baroua. And if God is talking to you, give Him a praise right here. Si vous avez pas la voix, par le louange qu'on y a. I'm trying to get to the balcony. Ma pensée est venue au balcony. If God is talk, telling you to look beyond what you see, vous give Him a praise right here. Si vous êtes regardé au-delà ça, où est par le louange qu'on y a? Don't you let nobody next to you stop your praise. About 20 minutes later, the cousin Dwayne Whitehead came running downstairs and said, y'all come quick. Come quick. Nothing but good news. But bonne nouvelle seulement le gars. Somebody say suddenly. Dans mon dieu soudainement. Nothing but good news. Ici nous gagne seulement bonne nouvelle. We run up four flights of stairs. Nous courons monter là. And when we get there. Là nous rivé. The doctors are in the waiting room. Docteur était là, nous sommes dans la salle. Explaining to us. Ça veut dire nous. That they don't understand what happened. Je pas comprendre ça qui passé. They put his heart back in. Il mettait cœur back in. Connected all the arteries. Connecté toutes artérie. Put the blood back in to send them down to the morgue. Mettait ça en dans pour voir la morgue là. To send him to the morgue. But the Lord said, and Doctor Hillary just pushed down on it. Doctor Hillary made it clear. And the heart started beating. And because I come on that back. Oh, be ashamed! God still works miracles. Somebody shout in this house. Bon, je suis la femme qui a parlé au louange. God still works miracles. And his heart started beating. Quel commence à battre encore. Uraman de coche bessa. I hear some medical people in this room saying that's impossible. With man, it's impossible. But with God, 
Who you think we serve? We don't serve an idol, we serve the living God. He said, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The next day was a Sunday. We got up and we testified about it. The church went into a dance. 2,000 people just danced. Pop Winans got up and said, You heard about Lazarus. We've seen Ronald. Mother Winans got up and said, I promised God that whether he lived or died, I was going to praise him. We went to dancing. Bibi ran up. Bibi monte. And he said, he said, he said, he said uh, uh, we got to call the doctor. Is it the doctor you? Pastor Juan said, there ain't no doctors in the hospital. Pastor Juan, they're back in the doctor. They're not in the hospital today. He said, all I know is that God said, call the hospital. He said, call the hospital. He said, call the hospital. He called the BBC. Pastor Juan said, go, go back there, call him. BB Juan said, I'll get you. BB went back and called, and all three doctors were at the nurse's station. You're at the station nurse. All three of them. Two And they talked to him. And they talked to him. And they said, we don't know what's happening right now. He's on all these medications to stabilize him. To keep his blood pressure regular. I don't hear anybody here. To, to, to keep him stabilized. We are taking him off of every medication. And we're just going to keep an IV in to keep him hydrated. Seven days later. Pastor Winans goes up to visit him. Pastor Winans, I'll visit him. He's not in the room. Well, he must be down in some, some, some exams. So And then Ronald comes in. Ronald carrying his IV. Where are you coming from? He said, I'm praying for people. These people are sick in here. Suddenly. Suddenly. Suddenly, I'm telling you how our God works. I'm we're not serving an idol, we are serving the living God. Seven days after that, where's Ronald? He's down in Bermuda with Bibi, laying out in the sun. This is two weeks after he was resurrected. The next week was Easter Sunday. And three Jewish doctors walked into our church. The doctors who did the surgery, they had, it, they had the lighted backdrop. They put the x-rays on to show how his heart was damaged. And the main doctor started crying and looked at Ronald and said you're not supposed to be here and then the Jewish doctor said your God is real and then the Jewish doctor said your God is real somebody hollered suddenly I've got to close. From Termine. I've got to close. From Termine. What I'm trying to tell you is Ça you là. that you are in the right place on a vrai place là. for a suddenly. Pour soudainement. You are in the right place, on a vrai place là. for a suddenly. Pour soudainement. When, I, when I was back there watching on the television, la television I was watching the service go forward. I got real sick. We're really, really, really sick. So all, of, all of a sudden, I got really sick. And I didn't know what was going on. It started last night. But then I got sick sitting there watching. And my question to God is, what's happening? What, what is happening? Chest got all tight and got weak. 
And I had a minor heart attack in February. And I'm saying, I'm not going through another one. I promise. I made a vow. I made an oath. I made a declaration that I would never, ever have another heart attack. And I'm questioning God, God, what is this? I'm moving slow. Happened so quickly. I was just outside on the phone and all of a sudden I started feeling this. And as I sat there, all I could hear in my spirit while I was changing clothes. Get into the sanctuary. No, no, no. That's all I kept hearing. Get into the sanctuary. Bishop Toussaint came in. Bishop Toussaint I greeted him. Moi and I told Juan, I, I'm ready to go in. Because God had already spoken in my spirit. You're suddenly is in the sanctuary. In the sanctuary. Y'all think I'm playing. You're suddenly is in the sanctuary. In the I stood in that corner over there. Pastor Toussaint got up. Pastor Toussaint got up. He started talking about the Jericho wall. He told everybody to shout. And I shouted. And the more I shouted, the stronger I got. Hold oh, yeah. it. Because if I'm going to preach about a suddenly, I have got to have a suddenly. I'm standing there saying, God, please don't let me fall out. God, please don't let me fall out. God, please give me strength. And when he said, shout, I took my hands, stretched them out, and said, oh, I'm going to Sometimes you got to lose your cool. It's not about looking cute. Sometimes you need to let go of your self-image. So your hands have been hollow. There are some walls falling. There are some walls falling. There are some walls falling. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, 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 your time has begun. There are some suddenly that will be testified of. You will bring your testimony back to the sanctuary. You will speak about how God intervened. You will speak about how God healed you. You will speak about how God delivered. You will speak about salvation in your family. You will speak about how your finances increased. Because you planted your seed. You will see God do great things. You will see the goodness of the Lord while you live. Somebody put a praise on that. I'm done. I'm done. But I got news for you. I'm leaving out of here doubly blessed.